All right, I'm gonna teach you guys how to beat Odin of the Confraternity of Salt. And just so you know what I was using, for my quick verses, I used the Bleeding Crown. And then for my chants, I used the Petaneras to the Burial of the Lights. And these come in very handy, you're gonna see as the fight goes. So let's get into it. If you're never greedy, you will beat this guy, okay? There's going to be times where you don't necessarily have to attack him. You just need to survive. You just need to jump over the waves, jump over the spikes, or dodge through if you want to as well, and just survive and don't get hit, and then wait for your opportunity. And there's some big opportunities in this fight. For example, when he brings in his minions, when he's about to call them in, he stands there, raises his hand, and then lightning shoots up, and then lightning comes down, and the minions, they appear. As he's putting his arm up, that's an invitation for you to put in some work and to put in some damage. But you can notice here that you only have a few seconds to do so because those minions are gonna spawn where you're standing. So the first minion will spawn here. I'll get in a couple hits, move, and then before the second one spawns, I get in a couple more hits. So you want to take advantage of these moments, but also not be greedy because those minions will appear and then damage you. So I would hit a couple times, move, then that one minion appears, move to the other side, hit again, then here comes the second one, and then I'm gone already. Another big opening is when you're in the second part of the fight and he starts to put shields around the minions. You want to go ahead and attack the boss. It will stop the shields for one, and then it will also give you some free hits on the boss because he won't attack you for those couple of seconds. He's just shielding the minions. So that's when you want to hit the boss. So those couple of moments right there are good opportunities to put in some good damage. Also, because we are using the chant of this kind of fire wave, uh, that is very nice, right? I explained what it was at the beginning of the video. You want to equip this because when the minions are lined up right in front of you, and if the boss is right there, especially you want to hit him with this chant because look at this damage. Look at this. At the very least, if the boss isn't right there, you will take down the minions, which is just as good, right? Because it'll get them out of there, get them out of your hair for a bit, and then you can just focus on the boss. But let me tell you, it's even sweeter if you can get some hits on the boss with this attack, because this does some really good damage. So if you can line them up perfectly, you're in good shape. He does these spike attacks, which start off with one at a time. Then as the fight progresses, it goes to two, then three. He will just go back to back. So you want to jump over, then do it again, and then again until you're clear, and then you can put in some hits if you can. He also has this other move where he jumps up into the air, which you'll clearly see. You'll know it's coming. He drops down, bashes into the ground, and then waves appear, and you're going to jump over those or dodge through them. Also, when he is in the air, you can tell where he's going to land because the wave is at the bottom at your feet and it's kind of following you wherever you go. So what I would typically do is kind of run to the right and then a little bit to the left. So I know he's going to fall right there and then I would just zip to the right so he doesn't follow me and then I would jump over the wave and then hit him a couple times. That was kind of my routine just to kind of bait where I want him to land and then knowing where he's gonna land and then I would dodge out of there and just be prepared to dodge and jump over that wave. But you gotta be careful with this and you gotta be careful not to be greedy because you're gonna wanna wail on this guy. I know I did, I'm sure you're gonna want to too, where you just wanna hit him over and over. But the problem is he will make you pay for it. He will punish you. He will turn around real quick and slash at you. He will slash you if you're in front of him. So you want to hit him one or two times, then dodge to the other side, hit him another one or two times, then dodge back or just get out of there because there's going to be times where he's going to turn around and just hit you as you're going in on him. So you want to be patient in the way of like one to two hits, then move. When you really look at it objectively, at least for me, I felt this is an easy fight. I'm just not executing. I'm not making the right moves. It's up to me. That's really what I felt. It's up to me to be patient and I'll get it done. And sure enough, I got it done because I just kind of slowed it down, made sure I, I, I jumped high enough over the spikes, jumped high enough over the waves, 
and just did not get greedy. I know it can probably feel overwhelming, especially if there's like four or five minions on the screen, but typically they are lined up next to each other. They do appear as your position moves. So if you're in one position on the area, one's gonna appear there. And then as you move, they start to appear more as they're kind of like following you. But if you play that to your advantage, you can make it easier. You can stand there for a second, let the first one appear as you're moving away, then have the other one appear and then the other, and then you can kind of line them up and then hit them with that chant. Or you can jump over them and dodge across. So you dodge across all of them and even including the boss, then do your chant. Or you can just hit the boss or keep it moving, go heal on the other side or whatever you have to do. Don't forget to use the entire area. You can totally dodge across them, get up high and dodge away, and don't forget that because that's very important. Don't get caught up thinking you have to battle them all at the same time and stay right there with them. No, you can totally slide, you can dodge, you can get out of there, go to the other side and go heal if you have to, or just go set up to do your chant or just to put in some more hits with your weapon, which will build up the meter to do your chants and to do your abilities. So that's all it really is, is just kind of taking your time, making sure you build up your meters so you can use your abilities and just kind of chipping away at the boss as you take out the minions along the way. You don't wanna just focus on one or the other. You kind of wanna clean them up at the same time. And that's why I feel this chant that I'm using and this fire on the ground is just so good because it can take out all of them and, and put damage into the boss at the same time. And it's just really, really awesome. So I highly recommend using this. Uh, but other than that, it's a really straightforward fight. You're on the ground the whole time. You don't got to worry about platforming or anything like that, which is nice. It's just all about dodging. It's all about jumping over things and just kind of using that to your benefit because these guys ain't going nowhere. They're just on the ground. They're just dumb and stupid and they're staying on the ground. So feel free to just use the air, dodge across them and all of that definitely helps. And then of course the boss, you know, he's gonna do his moves over and over. You just gotta kind of practice through them, die a few times just to learn them. And don't get discouraged. If you die, you're learning every single time you do. You're gonna learn what's working, what's not. And you're gonna remind yourself to slow down and kind of just take your time and work it. And you'll get it, trust me, it's not too, too bad. Uh, but that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it helps. Let me know if it did in the comment section below. And other than that, I hope you guys uh, have a great day and thank you so much and I will catch you in my next video. All right, bye.